Well, hello everyone. My name is Mr. Wallowitz, and I am your new principal at Melissa Jones Elementary. Now, I want you to enjoy your summer. I plan on enjoying my summer too, but guess what? I can't wait for school to start so I can meet each and every one of you. But before school starts, I thought I'd make a video so you could learn a little bit more about me. Now, this is my wife, Mrs. Wallowitz. She is a literacy interventionist, which means she helps kids learn how to read. She is very creative and she is very kind. This is our daughter, Jenny. Jenny is 27 years old and a certified nursing assistant. She lives about 10 minutes away, so we get to see her just about every week. This is our daughter, Taylor. Taylor is 21 years old and she's about to be a senior in college. She lives up in Buffalo, New York. That's where she goes to school. She's studying to be an animal behavior specialist. So one day she might work at an animal sanctuary or possibly a zoo. And this is our son, Connor. Connor is 23 years old and just graduated from college. He is an amazing musician and graduated with a degree in music for new media. So one day you might be playing a video game and the music you hear in the background is music that he composed. So we have other members of the family too. This is Gibbs. Gibbs is a leopard gecko. She eats crickets and she's nocturnal, which means she sleeps during the day and she's up all night. Gibbs, what are you doing awake during the day? Have you been playing Xbox again? So this is Peanut, one of our guinea pigs. Every night when they get their fresh vegetables, Peanut grabs one of the veggies and then runs into the corner and hides. And this is Clover, our other guinea pig. She loves salad almost as much as I do. She's also a lot friendlier. So when she gets her salad at the end of the night, we can pet her while she eats. So this is the part of the video where I share some of my favorite sports teams. Now, if you have different favorites than I do, not a problem, we can still get along. I'm gonna start with my favorite baseball team. And I'll bet you'll never be able to guess what my favorite team is. You ready? Here we go. It's the Boston Red Sox. Did you guess? My favorite basketball team, the Boston Celtics. So you're probably thinking, oh, well, if he's a Boston Red Sox fan and a Boston Celtics fan, then his favorite football team must be the New England Patriots. But it's not. My whole life, for a reason that I cannot explain, I have always been a Miami Dolphins fan. So one of the things that I'm known for is having a huge tie collection. I have over 260 ties. Now I bought five of them. All the others have been gifts over the years. Now, if you think about it, there's about 180 school days and I have 260 ties. So I can wear a different tie every day and still have some left over. I also thought I'd share with you some of my favorite interests and hobbies. One of them is my humongous garden that I absolutely love. It starts every February when I go into my greenhouse and I plant all my seeds. So here it is, my beautiful garden. Over here we have carrots and cucumbers and sugar snap peas and raspberries and blackberries. And then in the middle, we have some more carrots and we have peppers and eggplant and kale. And in the back, we have beets and broccoli and zucchini and my really cool grapevine. Then over here, we have four different varieties of tomatoes. You can't see, but around the corner, I have all kinds of herbs and spices and some lettuce too. So an important part of the gardening process is composting. I take vegetable scraps, fruit scraps, eggshells, coffee grinds, peanut shells, put them in my composters, and I turn it into soil. Now that is some serious science. Build by the science guy. So not only do I have a beautiful garden, but I also have a beautiful peach tree. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. And lastly, this is my beautiful apple tree. Now this is a special kind of apple tree because it's a hybrid. It grows four different kinds of apples. Granny Smith, Honeycrisp, Fuji, and Brayburn. Now that is some serious science. Build by the science guy. So one of my other favorite things to do, even though I'm not very good at it, is to dance. No matter how hard I try. 
dancing, on the weekends, I like to exercise. Don't worry, don't worry. I figure if I persevere and I don't give up, eventually I'll be able to lift these weights. So when I'm not trying to lift five pound weights, I also like to ride the exercise bike. Now some people think exercise bikes are boring. I don't mind, I like the bike but it's those hills that get me. I gotta go, I gotta focus, get in the zone, cause I got a big hill coming up and I gotta get me. Another hobby of mine is to play the drums. Now my son Connor, who I mentioned earlier, is an amazing musician and we used to jam together all the time. But the last four years, he's been away at college. So I jam with a different friend. You might know her, her name is Taylor Swift. I guess the last thing I'd like you to know about me is that I love to read. One of my favorite genres, biographies and autobiographies. Sometimes I like to read scary stories, but when I do, I have to sleep with the nightlight. Sometimes, sometimes I even like to read sad stories. Now, my favorite author is Jerry Spinelli. I've read just about every book that he's ever written, and I even got to meet Jerry Spinelli in person. He's a really nice guy. Ooh, my favorite. Stargirl. And lastly, I love to read picture books. Oh, I have so many picture books. Hopefully, this year, I'll get to come into your classroom and read some picture books to you. Although this one doesn't make any sense. So that's a little bit about me, but I want to also learn a little bit about you. So I wrote a letter to your families, and in that letter there's a link to a survey so I can get to know you. I hope you take some time to fill it out, because when we get to school together in the fall, it's going to be amazing. We're going to be a school that takes care of each other, that respects each other, that celebrates differences, respects differences, but also recognizes that we have a lot in common and we're going to celebrate that too. So this summer, I want you to play and laugh and run and swim and listen to music and read great books because I want to hear all about your summer when you come back in the fall. I can't wait to meet all of you. <laughs>